I'm trying to flush out as many um, their profiles as I can since you know I'm doing this method of you know explaining why certain cards are in the deck couple combos you know just to give some insights from the, the creator himself to you guys so that way you know you can kind of play the deck as like what would Kung Fu do in this situation you know what I mean that type of stuff because um, also sometimes certain things might not be obvious um, you might not realize that certain cards have certain interactions that you know give you a really awesome effect so it's very useful for me to point those things out since I know certain cards have great interactions it's useful for me to share it because that's what I like to do and that's part of why what I do is to share information which is why I do these profiles why I, I do videos in general that has to be you is I'm sharing what I know I'm sharing what I'm doing that I can help you guys out with what you guys are doing. Because most of you guys who have subscribed, you know, point out that you know you, you watch my videos because I do stuff you didn't think of, which is great because that's the idea is to inspire. You know, my videos are not like, hey, you guys to play exactly like this. Everybody has different play styles. People prefer certain cards over others. Um, but my decks work the way I design them. You can always change it. You can always add cards or take away cards, and you know, like I can make a deck that has two OTKs, and you like one OTK versus the other, so you'll take out one of the OTKs and put in cards to help support one of the OTKs. You know what I mean, so you know, to each their own. But me, hey, if I made a deck with two OTKs, that's what I want. I want a deck that has two OTKs that would have more than one win condition. But now the deck profile. Alright, so this is uh, my Galaxy Eyes artifact deck. Thought of combining them. Mainly what convinced me to want to combine Galaxy monsters with um, the artifacts was this bad boy right here Galaxy Soldier. Because it doesn't say you send a galaxy monster special song it says you can send one other light monster from your hand to special song he's a level five which works good with all the other level fives that are in the artifact arch type so a level five you can special summon is you know really good <laughs> all right so plus it has the add-on effect of being able to uh you know of course add a galaxy monster from your deck to your hand, you know what I mean? So that's, that's always good. So it's like, all right, well, instead of just putting him in the deck just because, you know, he's a level five, not saying you couldn't, obviously, you could just throw him in there if you want a level five, you could special summon. But I was like, well, since I don't want it just to only be that, it'd be interesting to mix the deck up a little bit. I was like, all right, I'll throw him in there and throw in the galaxy monsters to go with them, so that way, that way you're not just using them as a level five special summon. Because you know there's a couple other level level five light <laughs> monsters you can special summon, right? But this one, you know, gives you a plus one, right? So the ability to plus one is always good, right? So, like I said, Galaxy, I got him. He's the reason I made the deck. I got Galaxy Ice Cloud Dragon, of course. So I can constantly resurrect uh, Galaxy Eyes monsters. King Kabayo, of course, so that way I can resurrect Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon and reuse them. And then I got Artifact Achilles, Labrys, Mor Morale, Morale Tech. And Caduceus, I guess Caduceus. <laughs> Deuces, right? Um, pretty much these are my favorite ones. Um, Caduceus is, is slowly becoming less 
less uh, my favorite. Less as in like he's he has a good, really good effect, just not like on the top like the other ones. Cause I really like him. Him and of course him, the monster that's dry off. But hey, that extra draw power, you know, that extra draw is useful, so I might as well get it, right? <laughs> then I got Celestial Transformation. Uh, because it's a quick play. There's certain cards that would uh that would affect um normal spells and whatnot. And so you know, social transformation allows me to drop a monster during my opponent's turn. So that tends to be pretty useful. Especially if you do uh you know, you put it you do it as a combo because the monster you special summoning is destroyed, you can sp special summon something like Let's say you can use it to special summon Achilles, and then Achilles will prevent your opponent um, from being able to, uh, you know, target him for attack. So your opponent can't just OTK you, right? Then your opponent ends his turn, run the end phase. You know, Achilles will be destroyed by uh, transformations effect, which will allow you to activate the effects of the Labrises that are in your hand and special summon them because they are art. You know, because uh, Achilles is an artifact card that is destroyed and sent to your grave. So you can drop them, so you could pretty much perform an OTK or XYZ summon the following turn. Another thing is you could also use it to drop surprises. You know, you could drop a uh, moral attack, pop your opponent's monster during the end phase. You can get an extra draw if you drop him during the end phase, you know, stuff like that. So you get the idea is that surprise element comes in handy. Um, it's chainable, so you can just set it and see what your opponent does. If your opponent tries to tries to do something, you know, bang, you have a response. Valhalla is good, but you know it does take up um, space in your spell and trap zone. Plus, it um, it's predictable. You know what I mean, your opponent can see it. And you can only use it on your turn. It's not like you could use the effect of the opponent's turn so it's too predictable the element of surprise is one of the advantages of this deck right artifact ms uh, movement <laughs> the mst of the deck love this card double cyclone another mst of the deck gotta get rid of that back wheel eight plus you know uh, artifact movement of course lets you Bring out an artifact monster and set it and stuff, all that good stuff. Uh, Theos, uh, Theosophy of the artifacts, obviously. It's great for bringing out uh, morale tech so that it can just pop a monster. Also, good uh, defensively to bring out Achilles just to get some draw power. You get the idea. The idea is to summon the artifacts and get some pluses and get field advantage that's green just because it's much staple defense honest just because it's a good hand trap and it's there was space so that's why I put honest obviously slacker magician of course because of the kinko uh, bo trick so I can have a good defense in case my opponent's not helping me destroy a back row <laughs> So I can get my effects off. I can just go into the 2100 defense. Pallides. Or Pleiades, whatever you want to pronounce it. Durando, obviously. Great card and you know it's good for turning normal spells and traps and monster effects into MSTs. <laughs> Adrius, because it's good. Shark Fortress, in case you want to perform an OTK. Zen Mayo, obviously got to get rid of that back row. Got to hate that back row. Back row hate. Uh, King of Heavy End Industries, just because he's awesome. Helps also with getting rid of, you know, anything you need to get rid of, especially back row. Plus, it reduces your opponent from drawing something good by milling the top three cards of his deck. Plus, you could probably just um, deck your opponent out with that alone if he only has three cards. Bang. Deck him out, right?
so that's always good. Um, Feldbrand, obviously, y'all know he's good, so that's why he's there. Same as Drag Luon, Drag, Drag Luon, the number is 46, because you can make him with two galaxy eyes, Photon Dragon, Heliopolis, gotta get rid of that back row, and then anything else that's a threat. Tachyon, just because he's a Galaxy Eyes monster, he has a good effect, of course. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, because he has a really good effect, and he's a 4500. Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, because he's awesome, so I run him in threes. Gotta make him all day. <laughs> and that's the Galaxy, I guess, Prime. Artifact deck 